Hi everybody, we are here down at Triple Play, so it must be a Monday, recording a couple games with Wook and with Heavy D, so uh, it should be some interesting games. Uh, we have an Imperial versus Rebel matchup for you today, so uh, I'm going to uh, talk to them for a moment and see what they're flying. So uh, Wook, what are you flying today? Um, well, a little bit of target lock shenanigans, uh, the uh, Lambda with Colonel Jendon, mm, uh, SG321 title with Gunner, just so that, you know, you get lots of target locks and throw them over to, the, to his friends. You mean weapons engineer? Sorry, weapons engineer. Okay, cool. Weapon I was like, Gunner? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's still early morning, remember? Uh, I, I hear you, I hear you. And we're so. old. And, and we're old, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, and, a couple of rows uh, I saw? a couple of row squadrons, both identically equipped. Uh, they're designed just to throw a lot of ordnance with the OS-1 loadout. Nice. Um, harpoons and photon Bird. torpedoes. Bug. Yeah. <laughs> and just some extra fun with them. Nice. So it, a bit expensive rows, but uh, you know what? It sounds like they're going to throw some serious dice downrange. We'll see how that works out. I don't think and, uh, my C-70s aren't going to make it. I don't think you don't think so? No. Uh, well, we'll find out. So what are you flying, Ned? Uh, three T-70s. Three uh, T-70s. Snap. Uh, snap. Uh, Looks like Jess. Jess Park, uh, yeah, Jess and uh, Yen. Yen Nub. Nub. Nice, yeah. nice. So, uh, yeah, I, m honestly, Triple T-70s is is a favorite of mine. Yeah. So seeing three T-70s across the way there, that's that's getting me right I here. Switch the T-65s are just as good though. Uh, soon, soon, uh, well, soon. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see if they got come back up. Yeah. So. That's going to be fun. Uh, getting those guys uh, locked up. Might, them locked up. Might. <laughs> so uh, this should be quite a battle for the ages here. Hopefully they'll take it to time. We'll see how it's going to turn out. And we'll see you the on the map. <laughs> yeah. Hi everybody, here we are at the mat uh, with Ed Heavy D and Ron Uncle Wook facing off against each other in a Rebel versus Imperial matchup. Um, they are just getting themselves set up, we got 75 minutes on the timer and then uh, we will get this show on the road. Sorry about any background noise right now, we are down here at Triple Play of course uh, with uh, regular uh, weekly matches going on all around us. I'm disappointed even. So hit and the crit is correct it. Oh. How's the knee fit in no more about that now? Yes. Hey, you ain't dead. You're still just as just as useful. <laughs> no, don't keep it up because that could be another crit that you end up getting. You don't pull an extra hit. Yeah, I think there's no space for one of these. Are you supposed to have little could be something else on somebody else, right? Are you supposed to put one of those little counter things on it? Mm, on the sh you can, if well, you want to put it on the ship, that there's a crit on it. But yeah, there's no real effect on that guy other than no. the surgery. Okay, well, if it was like blinded pilot, for sure, I would put that on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, and then we're going to go for the kill and blow. Yeah. Uh, TLP. And we can talk in, yeah. Can't even see, but you have one focus. Yeah, so that one, so like I said, they thought it was the same thing as someone else. And that's that. Because I got nothing that'll stop that. Four more. 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 Four Oh, no, damn. My dials were set before I walked in the door. 
Alright, you guys are placed. Your dials are getting down. Let me know when you guys are ready, and I will hit that there timer. And give quiet commentary in the meantime. That's a lie. I'm not quiet. Hey, guys. Oh, dials are down. Gentlemen, shake hands. Ah, oh, well, fine. And uh, when you're ready, hit it. I did. They all my shirts have cat hair on them. Hopefully. Hello, how you doing? There we go. Waking up. You're good? Okay. All right. Slow roll to victory here from Ed, looks like. No, no, it's time for Gotta go somewhere. Uh huh. I tried a fast roll in. Last week, and yes. I wasn't actually asking you, but okay, thank you. You guys should have some skills. You're telling me you forgot to play, but actually, you playing out the first play. Okay, look at that. It won't last you two days. Let me guess. Ooh, and things are okay, well underway. Well, okay, slowly underway here. Oh, so here he goes with his BB-8 barrel roll coming off a of Neenum. You can make a card game and you can sell it up with a Wow. Yeah. Well, I have to do some Uh, yes, here we go. The barrel roll of BB-8, getting rid of some target locks. Uh -huh. And there's a forward one from the Numb. Oh no, that's going to be a collision, it looks like. That is a bump. So, no second target lock clearing for Neen Numb on that. Hey, that looks good, Ed. Alright, well this should be interesting. All right, so they sweep and set and into the next round. All right. Looks really good here. I don't. I don't know, Ed. Ed looks like he's lining up to joust. I'm not sure that I would do that, but uh, you know, each to each their own. It's uh, an interesting choice to joust some of them gunboats. I wouldn't be worried too much about Jindan. I mean, 10 hit points, but only one defense dice. He's going to go down like a sack of potatoes. But uh, them gunboats are scary, scary business. No, that's this week. That's this week. Escalation tournament is this week. Except that, you know, they've been had that plan for weeks now. 
Uh, free tournament at Gauntlet this week. It's um, modified escalation rules. You must choose a faction, and what's in your 30-point list can't be in your 60-point list. What's in your 60-point list can't be in your 90-point list. Oh, cool. Or it's one way of looking at it, yeah. But everything games still have their turn, too. Yes, this weekend as well. Just so you guys know, Chini is the best. She brings me Chinese food. I didn't make it. No, but you brought it. <laughs> Ooh, Ed's making a hard turn. Hope he avoids that rock. Um, what the heck is that, Ed? Hey, what the hell is that, Ed? That's, uh, you're doing the wrong one, aren't they? Is it a hard turn? Yeah. Oh, a talon roll? Oh, I don't even know what I'm looking at there. All right, so now Ed, of course, has pattern analyzer on almost everybody there except for Jess with prime thrusters. Now that's fine because with prime thrusters, she's going to receive that stress from that talent roll, but she's still going to be able to boost. Yes. So. Um, that does not work for you, Ed. Um, Prime Thrusters is boost or barrel roll only. Yes, it is. You may boost out of the way there, but you're not going to be able to target lock. That's, you would have wanted Pattern Analyzer for that. Yeah. You'll have to forgive him. Ed's a little rusty. Hashtag the rust is real. The rust is real. Been there recently. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Been there recently. <laughs> that's, that's better. That's better. I like, where you're, I like what you're doing with this part. Hmm. Okay, so there's snap. That was snap, so a two, three, or four speed maneuver uh, lets him do a free boost. So before you actually take your action, you get the option to do a free boost with snap as well. Yeah, I boost. <laughs> it sounds like Wook uh, wants him in his mouth right now, so. What do you got? That cluster on who? Cluster on boss is Kevin. Mm, I like. I really like that. I used to do a uh, homing missile with uh, scavenger crane, but now I do harpoon because heck, one point cheaper. <laughs> All right. If you're not flying harpoons, you're doing it wrong. From one of the little card cases over there. Yeah. Yeah, one of the ultimate guard. Yeah. Fits nice. Ooh, slamming up. Now, of course, that doesn't mean a whole lot because that OS1 title lets him drop those uh, shots even when he's slammed. That blue target lock that's lagging back there, I'm pretty sure that goes on that first one. There you go. Yep, it does. Oh, are you talking about that new the saws yeah, partisans? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's like people that bought four of the new sheath feed just to get the flight assist, right? So <laughs> I only bought two because I was like, that's a little yeah, crazy. I bought two. I'm glad they're, yeah. They're I'm probably buying two of that saws set as well. Yeah. 
because yeah well and although i think you get five titles with it so i don't think i'm ever gonna fly that many x-wings i don't actually own enough x-wings to use all five titles i would after i get the, the partisan one i know what the title is Oh, is it? Really? I mean, I it was but, five. but there's no. five of the pilot cards. Oh, so the title's probably cost more. So, so, the, yeah. so the, 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 the pilot card is <laughs> probably like okay. a, so a lesser be expensive be one. So it's really a, It'll be a PS1, one. yeah. The title's probably restricted uh, just to the higher. That would make a lot of sense. I'm really yeah, looking forward to seeing it, though. It could just be that the title is a target lock from me. Right on. I can do that, right, Glenn? Thing is yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Why I yeah. A yeah. ship at range one includes you. Yep. Jeez, how many target locks you guys got floating out there? Well, I only had, I only had four. Uh, back. I haven't actually kept up on that news. Has has the title actually been announced? No. It has, none of, there's only been a minor spoiler. Yeah. They haven't bothered with a second spoiler yet. Right, okay. give, it a, give it another couple weeks. Just curious. So it looks like this is going to get some chompy chomps going on here. Nobody else? Is there anybody at range one after that boost? Uh, that's my other list. Was no, uh, uh, any friendlies at range one after that boost? Oh, no. Darn. So I'm going to push the limit on you. I regret nothing. On Nin? Yeah. <laughs> To yeah, there you go. Yeah, need numb. So enemy inside your firing arc at range one. You clear that stress. Good job, Ed. All right, need numb's gonna get some good shot going on here. So it looks like we're finally getting into some shots. Oh, we're still at end of activation here, I think. Uh, well, we're start of combat. Okay, so now we've moved on to start of combat. So it looks like he's going to use Jendon to shift over one of them. One of them locks over from the look of it. Uh, let's see. No, he can take one of the blue target locks and move it to an ally. Yeah, yeah. Though for those of you who may uh, not be aware, Jendon allows uh, at the start of combat to move a blue target lock token to a friendly. All right, so it looks like we are now uh, past start of combat and into Ninnum activating. So Ninnum has a range one on uh, what is that number? Of What's his number? Number one. Number one. Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> Pour him in there when you're ready. And the other one is number three, is it? Look. The other one's number three. Okay. For four hits. Four hits total. Nice job. And uh, apparently, Wook wants to throw his dice away like I like to. There you go. Okay, so one, no evades on that. No that is four evades. solid hits on yeah. Row Squadron number one. We're down to a, a damage card already. There we go. Okay, so Woof. Uh, which of you has initiative? There you go. So range two, three dice. Uh, two, uh, oh, a hit and two crits and blanks. Blanks. My dice aren't liking me today. Man, I think we got a dead gunboat. A hit and crit being structural damage and loose stabilizer. So he's got one hit point left. Go go gunboat. Wow. Ooh, this could be brutal. Oh, here comes the shot back. Here comes the shot back. So it looks like he's going to be using number one there up front. Not sure. Hmm? Who's here? No, it's on, it's on the weekend. Yeah, Saturday, 31st. Getting a harpoon? 
Yeah. He's going on a harpoon. That's normal rules? Standard, yeah. Yeah, bring your fan ghost, everybody. <laughs> and by that, I mean don't bring your fan ghosts. Oh, so there is uh, two focuses, a crit. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? His lock was over here. Oh! And think out. Uh, yeah. Dang. Okay. So let's we've rewound game state because there was a bit of an illegal uh, shot going on there. That's okay. We're gonna make the same shot. We're gonna make it from the other guy. Okay. So instead, it's number three. Ooh! Here comes the harpoon going into snap. Yeah, so four dice. Ooh, same roll. Two focuses, a blank, and a... There you go, so he's going to pop that lock to uh, roll one more crit out of that. So that ends up being a hit and a crit. Turn that over. There it is. He is just going to straight up attack. On snap. He's the only guy he can get at. And two hits. Of course, right? <laughs> Since I'm not using. And of course, two hits. So that's of course, two, two hits go through. Oh, oh, sorry. On snap, right? Yeah. I just need to double check something in here, guys. Yeah, that's good. And so what do we end up with there? Uh, two shields off of snap. Two shields off two shields snap. snap. Okay. Oh, and the harpoon condition. No. no. You hit him. But his target lock is over here. No, but the other guy, three, hit snap, right? No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't. No, I, I uh, he didn't get him. Oh, uh, yeah, I saved him. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yep. Wow. Okay. And uh, Jenden. <laughs> oh, and Jenden dropping his shot now. Looks like heading for Neen Num there. Wow. Good old Blankskis there. I don't think Wook is a fan of how that round turned out. Not so much. I call it the starfish. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. All right. So getting back to dials here. We got a little bit of uh, target lock flotsam on the board there. Not sure what those. Uh, That's supposed to be here. That's supposed to be there. All right. No. There we go. Nope. Yeah. No, that's pulled off, isn't it? No, that that came off. You. Remember, you weren't able to. You consumed that. that. Oh, yeah, right. You consumed that one from Neenum. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So good. So good. No. No, that, would, that lock never happened. Because that was the whole you can only do some barrel roll. Hmm? That was what his you can only do some barrel roll. Yeah, it never happened. Never got put out there. Oh, that was the other lock. That's off. right. It just, yeah, ne just never got cleared properly. All right, that's cool. See you later, buddy. Hmm. Ooh, and Larry, just off to my right, also playing his T-70 trios. Two separate pilots here today with triple T-70s. This is good to see. Meta? What meta? We spit in the face of your meta.
So uh, you guys can't see it, but um, uh, Andrew, who uh, is uh, one of our local players, has done up a beautiful alt art new squadron pilot, um, double sided with uh, different art on both sides. Um, I will be showing them off on the stream on Thursday. You guys should definitely stop in and have a look. They are gorgeous. Oh, there's Ed getting up in his face, taking Jess and running away a bit. Be interesting to see where he's headed. Yes, please. I'm very interested. Um, we're thinking about doing a uh, regular recording of a campaign. So, something a little different, right? So, yeah. Nice. That would be great, Larry. Yeah. Um, I had the visual and everything printed out at Staples a little while ago for some outrageous price because it was a really nice mm. setup. I yeah. think color and gloss and all that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Made it look good. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you got a bunch of them done. You know what? Uh, uh, we recorded that old day. Oh, yeah, because they, cause they have the. Uh, there's the stuff for the minefield mission and the, um, the um, star base and stuff. And yeah, good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's a challenge. It's a serious challenge, apparently. So. Yeah, I just started uh, playing uh, a campaign with a couple buddies. So. I'm just talking about some uh, Heroes of the Atari cluster stuff that uh, uh, we've been looking at getting started for a while. So. Should be some good times. Looks like Wook is chasing hard after Jess Pava there. Interesting to see where he's headed with that. You get that blue target lock? There you go. That's the one that goes with him. Slam! Slam and jam! Ooh, I'm surprised he's doing a bank slam there. I personally would have done a straight two slam. But uh, you know what? He's still got arc on Jess there. Still got range. Mmm, I don't like the way that's going to roll out. And Je Jess needs to be close to her friends to get them re-rolls. Ed might be regretting his choice to do that talent roll early. It's okay, it's okay, Ed. Life is full of regrets, right? Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, it's a thing that happens. All right, getting that star wing up. I'm not sure if he's gonna boot. Yeah, I I would probably slam to get out of there, but that's just me. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. Getting that slam going. Getting past him. He really, really wants to chase that Jess. But then he's advanced. <laughs> All right, so he's double weapons disabled, which are both going to clear at the end of the next round anyway. Um, he can technically, but there's nobody in his arc right now. He, as, uh, he, no, he would if he had a target lock on somebody. He'd be able to drop some ordnance. But there's no one in his arc. He can't shoot his regular weapon right now. That's one of my favorite builds on Snap, man. So good. <laughs> All right. Your, or sorry, Jandon, moving in tight there. Be interesting to see where Neen Num's going to head. I think Jess is about to get pasted with a uh, 
Well, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. That's that one gunboat has taken some serious hurt. If she can get spun around, she might get be able to dish some damage back. Uh, just not this turn, of course. He can move one blue target lock token, yeah. Ooh, there he goes. He's pushing up. This is one forward. There we go. He's gonna drop a drop a lock on Jenden there. That should be interesting. Not sure whether he's gonna push for a more action or not. All right, no push the limit on that one. Oh, 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 rolling back here. He is going to push. And it looks like he's taking his focus. And, of course, then he clears because he is at range one. Oh, boy, target lock and a focus on him. Ooh, that's going to be bad news. Nope, okay. There we go. So no target lock shenanigans there. All right, so Ed opens up with Nien Num first into Jenden. Four dice. Wow. I bet you he's glad he took that target lock. Into not bad. That's going to turn up into three hits if he spends that focus. And there it is. Three hits. And one evade. The shuttle actually evades one. Nice. Good job, shuttle. Good job. So two shields off of Jenden. All right. All right. So now we got snap. Yeah, the blue one. The blue one is yours, Ed. <laughs> All right. So he's gonna spend that target lock. He's already got two hits. That makes three. So three hits into Jenden, who scores another evade. So that's two more off Jenden. He's still got a shield, rocking it. All right, Jenden gets to shoot back now. So, range one, Ooh, Jenden busts out double crits right away on the natty. No modifiers. Not gonna. Oh, he does not have anything to modify with. So two crits. And then Num gets nothing. A focus and a blank. So that's two damage on Nim. Need Num. Number Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, Whoa, we'll natties! Natties. Crazy right. natties rolling there. 
Three hits. Oh one man, hit. and a crit, and Jess is like, oh god. And, one, uh, and that's one hole of aid, so we end up with three hits. Three hits. There you go. What she <laughs> still doing great, Ed. You're still doing great, buddy. Yeah, you don't actually have to spend it, which means he can hold it for next turn now. And uh, did you give her the... Was that a harpoon? Okay, so we'll uh, throw one of them harpoons on her there. There you go. So... If you get hit at all with a harpoon yeah, missile, your your harpoons you don't trigger it yet. Next turn when he uh, get when there's an uncancelled crit. Alright, lots of heavy thinking going on now, like, where's everybody going? <laughs> Ed's got a couple of options with Jess, I'm interested to see where he thinks he's going to put her. Um, those gunboats, though, number one has taken some hits, he's only got one health left, but uh, I don't think he's got too much to worry about. Number three there is definitely setting up for his attack run soon. And Jinden is just like, yeah, take your shots on me, I'm, I'm cool. weirds me out a little when I see somebody not using the red um, uh, defender for Riyadh. Yeah, I hear you. I'll look and I'll be like, oh, that must be Vessery. What? I'm it's only not? Yeah. I've only got the one uh, magneted, so I haven't actually oh, used the nice. for red one yet. So. Yay, I magnet know. mod. Yeah. <laughs> My three. Yep. Uh, oh, here we go. Dials are up. It looks like Jess is K turn four. That's what I thought. Get around, get around. Maybe get those, get a shot while you can before he kills you. <laughs> All right. Too hard from snap. <laughs> so gracious, I wouldn't so have done it. Well, you're nicer than I am, Larry. I'd be like, no, learning is pain. <laughs> Ooh, dear. So a little bump from uh, Snap, and of course, no boost from that because Bumpola. <laughs> We're going to start over here. Two. Nice. Just clears. Woohoo! That is tight. Um, Play two or? Uh, 
uh, action, he's going to turn down that loose stabilizer, which has been preventing him from doing well. All right, loose stabilizer has been turned down. Hmm. Got a little bit of one-on-one -on -one action between Jess and uh, row number one. Looks like row number three is coming around. Oh, and then he's going to slam three straight on up. Oh, I see what's going on here. So that was his slam. Sounds like he's going to use his advanced slam. And there we go, target lock on Jess. It looks like it's range. If you could just measure that for me, just to make sure, please. Between three and, and Jess. So yeah, it's going to be range three then. Okay. Yep, definitely. Okay. I just always like seeing people do the, uh, do the measure for the lock. So, Jenda and just uh, meandering out of the way there. Looking to see where Nin Num's going to go. There we go. So he's reacquiring a target lock now. Weapons engineers, you may. You may. Yes. Yeah. Um, when you reacquire, both your target locks go, and then you reacquire. Okay, so he'll. You actually, yeah, he'll reacquire both. There you go. See, so yeah, yeah. Whenever you go to reacquire target lock, you clear existing ones, and re. Yeah. What are we doing? Ooh, Talon roll. Uh, I doubt he's going to get range one out of that, but with prime thrusters, or sorry, with uh, not prime thrusters, sorry, with uh, pattern analyzer, he's still going to be able to take an action and then receive his stress. Uh, I would, uh, I would say, oh, you might be able to. I would template snap there, yeah, out the front. Uh, that's the best way. Boy. Looks like he's got some range. All right, so we're moving into start of combat here. That was a flat nothing from Nin Num. Ooh, that was terrible. Good stuff for your good stuff for Jenden. I'm sure Jenden is happy, happy to see that. And it looks like Snap has no shot. I don't think Jenden has a shot either. Nope, and Jenden has no shot either. So we're moving on to the gunboats. All right, so rain. So it looks like gunboat number three. Who's in the lead there? Number one. Oh, number one is uh, shooting first. Nope. Number one can't shoot. He doesn't have. Well, yeah, he can. Oh. Uh, is he range two? He's at range two. Oh, so there's a torpedo coming. Proton torpedo is going to come at us. Of course it is. That one. And, and torpedoes so off. Have to send the target off. Yep. And 
No, he can't shoot his main, but that OS1 title. OS1 title says I can launch ordnance. Yeah. Perfect. If I have a target. All right, so two blanks, a focus, and a hit. Oh, sorry, two hits. Sorry, yeah, two hits, a focus, and a blank. Now he had to spend that target lock, but uh, hold on, hold on. Read your, read your proton. One of your focus results turns up into a crit. So now Jess busts out two focuses. Now hold up, hold up. Before now, there's an uncancelled crit, which means the harpoon condition triggers first. Um, everybody around you at range one takes one damage. Okay, and then you receive a face down damage card automatically. And then you get your two hits and your crit. Yeah. And lay him out, buddy. Ooh, Jess. And what was the crit? Weapons fail. Weapons fail. Not that it matters because she's now an expanding ball of gas. That looks like combat, so this combat. So is not going the way Ed planned at all from the look of it. Now, number three is still packing both his torp or both his torp and his harpoon. That's some consumed stuff there. Ooh boy. Uh, he still got six hit points from the look of it. Still got four hull plus one shield. Well, this matchup is going probably exactly the opposite way Ed wanted. All right, dials are down. Here comes the shenanigans. Looks like Snap is doing a bank two. Bringing himself around. I think he's trying to get revenge on that row squadron number one there. Weapons guidance? Yeah, you have to spend the focus, right? Yeah. Ah, that's a thing that happens. Don't feel bad. <laughs> Not a good trade, Larry. Not a good trade. Yeah. Ooh. That looks like a no boost. Mm, you can put them at the end of it and see if it overlaps. But I can pretty much tell you from here. Yeah, it would overlap the rock. So, nope. There we go. He's decided he is going to boost straight. There it goes. Looks like just in range three there on gunboat number one. Let's see if we can get a shot on that guy. 
He doesn't need to do much. Structural damage means that gunboat's only rolling one defense dice, so. Okay, well, let's uh, get that uh, one a little bit out of range. Oh, yeah, it would have happened at the end. Yep. And all that gunboat is running. Uh, he is going to go weapons disabled. Oh, he's weapons disabled. Looks like he's flipping one of those things back over. He is not sure if he's pulling the torp or the missile here. Torpedo. Looks like torp is coming back. All right, bank three from number three here. So he's bringing himself around, catching up to his buddy. Obviously none too concerned about damage at this point because he's fresh. He's fresh like a daisy right now. Hmm. You got hurt real bad. Fall back. I got this. I got this. All right, there's that. Storm, so he need to All right, no reload or nothing going on there. And then on to Jendon. On to Jendon. Who says, this is just such a stressful day. <laughs> oh, and Jendon's just going to stop. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Nobody ever expects the shuttle to stop when it stops. Oh, oh, oh. Neen might be doing something here. Ooh, tight. I don't think he's got arc. He's still got an action. Whether a boost is going to get him there or not, I guess we'd find out. He is thinking hard. He's thinking really hard about what he needs to do here. It's a maneuver. So he's pulling up a target lock, waiting for next turn. <clears throat> I'm going to go out on a limb and say I don't think this combat's going to see any shots. <clears throat> All right, start a combat. Nobody's got nothing. All right, gentlemen, 26 minutes remaining. Oh, that's the loadedest question in the history of, lo or loadedest answer in the history of loaded answers, man. <laughs> How did it end up? Well, Oh, I get that. It's gonna be the new meta. It's really gonna be like, 
You can put them all in, the only thing's better than the ghost is the dead sound. But yeah, in both turns I had focus for default, now I'm just gonna put one back in too. Okay. That's okay. I've been I've been theorying a uh Maul Dengar lately. Oh, hey, it's still better than the Goblin Hera. Come on. Yeah, but it it looks worse than the original backstabber because it's the same picture with a crappier overlay. Just blown up. Yeah. That's why there's such a market for third-party alt arts. So. <laughs> That's right, landscape or nothing. Yeah, yeah, you left that behind. That was he, that was his. Yeah, you've got him target lock. Right, 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 right. So you can you can reacquire that target lock. All right, so there's Ed shifting his target lock over to um, Jandon. Well, clear and stress. Forward one on Jenden. Uh, looks like Neen and Jenden are focus and hard. <laughs> or sorry, Neen and uh, Snap are going to focus really hard on Jenden. That. Wow, that is a cluster. My God, that's a mess. I love it. <laughs> I just say X Wing now. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Getting, the, getting them gunboats coming around. Okay, number one just wants to stay out of the fight at this point. <laughs> oh, he's slamming up. Oh, that was slam. Oh, you did just slam. Okay, the slam. Because he was over there. Tucking himself up there under Jendon's wing. Wow, they are really mad at Jendon right now. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Looks like Nina's gonna. Ah! Oh, you smoked him in the head! Stop that! Alright. Start a combat. Nina's gonna drop that. Four dice. And drop it like it's hot. So we end up with three hits there. And a blank. Four. Uh, oh! Rolls up three hits and a crit. That one doesn't want to stay in the board. Yeah, there you go. And that ends up being one evade for Jenden. Last shield. And the crit is. Plus a major explosion. Ooh! Roll that die. Here we go. Major explosion coming up. Blank. Nothing. Blank skis on the major explosion. So still got three hit points left on that shuttle. Ed is currently uh, 16 points, and Uncle Wook is 29. Wow. Alright, target lock burn. Alright, two crits and a hit. Ooh! Ooh! And blank. Blank. Boom, boom, and boom. That is one. Crit. Dead. Oh, direct. So dead. So dead. And the other one was thrust control. Stop that. Ooh. Ed squeaks into the lead. Three points. 32 to 29 right now. Them gunboats get to shoot now, though. And look, gunboat number three has some revenge to deal, it looks like. Yeah, he's the only one who's got a shot, the other one's out of range now. So it looks like gunboat number three has range two. And number three is gonna, looks like he's dropping a harpoon. Four dice. And no need to use that tar. Oh my god, what is with the natties tonight? I know. Do I want to... How many well, dice do you have for defense? Uh, two. Two? I am going to blow the target lock just to re-roll yep. that one. Yep. Worth it. Die. Worth it. Get that last hit in to guarantee, right? Yep. And... Oh, yeah. Four hits. And zero. So that is four on snap, which is a dead snap. Uh, that's a shield? Yep. Okay. And three. Oh, one, two, and a integrated. Integrated off. There we go. One hit point left on snap. This game ain't over. All right, into the end phase. They're going to sweep those tokens. Mm-hmm. Dials down. 16 and a half minutes left, gentlemen. You down the game in a bit? Yeah. Um, you, do you want to play or I, I was going to play? No, if you guys want to play, go ahead. When he's done. All right. D6. Uh, two straight forwards. It's clear as this. Natties. Natties. Hmm. There we go. Snap. Get himself the hell out of dodge there. You can. Mm -hmm. So the harpoon condition. There, I'll bring that up so everybody can see that. Did I roll one dice or two dice? Uh, harpoon condition is roll a die on a hit. Yeah. Uh, well, hold on. It's discard the card. 
And on a uh, roll one attack die, on a hit or a crit, suffer one damage. Now that's a crit, yeah. so you discard the token and then suffer one damage. Oh, is that what it is? Yep. Yeah, for harpoons. As uh, he's dead, she is going to... Yep. So, yep. yeah, that would have killed him. But now... It prevents any damage. It does. It prevents uh, Neen Numb from getting, from getting pasted. Yep. But that's a dead snap, and that puts Uncle Wook in the lead. Um, it, well, if you if you'd have rolled okay, if you'd have rolled a blank or a focus, yeah, you'd have survived. Been. So it's about a 50-50 chance. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's all good. All right. No, I'm gonna use my second. Forward two. Green, so Here we go. Now this is where you're. I was listening to you. Oh. Is going to <laughs> three forward two. <coughs> Ooh, Neen Num all by his lonesome with four hit points left. He's got this. Neen Num's just going to, like, rock this out and waste them both. Five hit points. Yeah, five, technically with integrated. You betcha. Uh, count your droid as a hit point. That's just a trigger. Alright, that other gunboat's coming up. He, they are looking for some vengeance. But cannot slam through there. So he will. Oh, you can slam and bump if you really want. Doesn't do any good. He'll take a, a disabled. Oh, and he's going to reload his harpoon, which uh, I didn't actually clear last time. So he's harpoon and back. Okay, good. And he's still fresh. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh wait, it's number one that has flipped his. One just flipped it up. Oh, the okay. Last time. That's right. Okay. So he's lost his harpoon. He's got them both back. There we go. Now I now I'm all caught up appropriately. Helps when I pay attention, right? Uh -huh. Attention paying takes too much attention. So there's his BB-8 barrel roll on reveal. And then he's going to go forward one. Yeah. Uh, it looks like he cleared that target lock. Uh, Number he three. Just, he just it. moved it over. Yeah. There it is. Okay. But the black one title would have yeah, cleared that off that with off. the barrel roll. And then he does his forward one. And it looks like he's trying to boost. Ooh, there he goes into the boost. I don't think he's going to be able to boost this. I think he's going to overlap. Yeah, yep, that would be an overlap. It's a little torn here about whether he should boost bank or not. No, I'm going to not boost and acquire a target lock instead. Okay, so there he is taking his target lock. Okay, so that's the end of activation, and we get into the shots. We do. It's obstructed range three. Now, admittedly, he still has uh, structural damage, which means he gets one plus three plus the uh, plus uh, uh, obstruction. So he's going to get three dice back. He's only got one hit point, and nothing to modify with. I don't know. I I'm I would be torn. I would be torn on that shot. Hey, it's snap and move and I bump, but I did do a You bump. No, I got him target lock. No, no, you just start on the thing. You don't. Uh, as long as you don't overlap. Two hits and a crit. Yeah, yeah that's um. Well, there's that. Uh, ooh, two hits and a crit. Going into number one. On to, on to number three. three. On to number three, who blanks Blank out on his roll. Number three loses his shields. Loses all three shields. And gentlemen, 11 minutes, 15 seconds. Um, now that's probably not going to get anywhere near going through. Uh, he's going to pull a range three shot again. So range three back at Neen Num from number one. 
Uh, wow, Natty's hit crit. Yep, four because range three and obstruction. Ooh, he's only got the one evade popping there. One more shield. And then one sec, range two from number three. That. You didn't need to. No. You shot the. Oh no, you shot him. Yeah. yeah and Natty. Snap, right? So. Not, not obstructed. Just needs to check it and make sure. Yep, yep. And Always best to make sure of these things. Well, I'd be closest to the closest anyway. So yeah. Down the line, it'd be anyway. And closest to the closest within arc. Yeah. 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 One, two, three. And he's only getting two dice. He does. Yep. One crit. One crit. And Neen goes, here's my evade, and I'm good. All right, a lot of heavy thought going on here again. So uh, just under nine minutes, gentlemen. Well, so Ed's dial down. Hope I made the right decision. Me too for you, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're back at okay. Let's do this. So it looks like number one is trying to get himself away and maintain his health for one more round. Ooh, that's pretty close to that rock. Didn't hit the rock. Oh, no, yes. no, it didn't no. hit the rock. Oh, that is so close. You guys can't see how close this is because we're the because the camera's up a little bit, but damn, that is close. Man, it's just. You could fit a blonde. You could fit a blonde. Oh, and he's going to slam around. He is definitely trying to keep himself out of arc and keep himself alive. For one more round there. Which is weapon disable. Oh boy. Let's see if Ed made the right and choices this turn. Advanced slam. Target lock. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. Some, some advanced slam action going on. Alright. He's still rocking that structural damage. He's like carrying that thing like a badge of honor. It's, a, it's like crack shot. It's after modify. That's going to put him. <laughs> no, but it's just sort of like yeah. trying to figure out like what order all the non tables are doing. Yeah. Oh! He is going to. You can cancel. You can't add. Right, but it's, this isn't modified, right? It's like. No, but you still can't add because you're still adding a result. Right, but this is. This is like. That's like saying you can't like adding crack shot or something. But I thought adding was modded. You can't modify at all. It's not during the modified dice check. Apparently, canceling dice yeah. is not modification. Yeah, right, right. But this is the question. Yeah, is, the question is not whether or not. No, yes. No, no, no. The, 
for so the question is not whether or not it's it's a modification. Doing it would be. It's just a question of it's not in the video. Yeah, yeah, everything online points towards uh, you can cancel, but you can't act. Yep. So right. theoretically, you could cancel it. Still. No, I'm it saying, happens. No, no, no. It happens during compare, but yeah, you can cancel. But then you no, can. No, no, because if you made that argument, then like. You cancel dice when you're doing compare results, right? Okay, so that's so what I'm saying. That's like out of but out of but the in the FAQ, right? Ac- Active the Directors and Rules, they but Active Directors are right. modified dice, right? Uh, that's but that's not during the modified dice. I'm gonna boot. You just can't modify the period. Because of you cannot modify. Adding is considered modifying. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Removing is not. Canceling is not. But adding results is. Sorry, I had to clarify a little. uh Interaction between Omega Leader and Bosk on the table beside us here. Ooh, it looks like Nina might have weaseled him his way out of shots back. No, that's canceling again. Canceling is not like that. Again, that's like what I'm interested in is is the put your finger on your where things happen. Does that mean you can't? But don't don't wear on Omega Leader. Doesn't say. I know, but like, what about Cad Bane? Does that not work? Four dice. No, that's. Yeah, I think one? that's different. They're both wounded. Uh, well, well this one's got the worst. Number one. When defending, uh, when attacking or defending. When attacking or defending against your attack. So there's the clarification right there. Uh, attacking yeah. or defending. We're still part of Two hits and a crit. Two yeah, hits and a crit. Don't have Ooh, hit, hit, hit crit. For another reason. I, I agree, but yeah. Well, well here goes number one rolling his one die and blanks. Yeah, you know why? So Ed gets some revenge on row squadron number one. I agree that's not an issue. Oh, and a direct hit, even just to, just to, just for good measure. Little extra explosion. Gentlemen, four minutes. Oh, pattern analyzer, fantastic on him. Yep. Yep. And it works fantastic on him because you can boost into range one. Oh, I get my stress, I clear it. Oh, hey, yeah, that was in range one. That's very true. You had somebody at range one, so you would have cleared that. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This comes off. Scores at the moment, please. Yeah, crack shot would work against Omega. Mm-hmm. But then adding dice. Yeah, which yeah. is fun. Like I said, it, for me, the only question in my mind is like, when the window in which that ability is active, and I, I think you could you could definitely make an argument that it's still active. <coughs> Boost the barrel roll. Fine with it. Uh, one of these I are up. I wish it was after compare, but you must before you make damage. Uh, right. The, the, the question the question is about like the ability is like when attacking. Oh, you may. So it's like yeah. Yeah. during okay. this case they're still the you're still in the, the attack yeah. phase. Yeah. 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 So, so the reason I'm sensitive to that right now is because like yes points please. Uh, currently 66 to 63 for Ed. Um, there's a lot Two and a half minutes. This is going to be last round, gentlemen. Oh, yeah, Jeff Darrow basically creates all the trouble. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Because Cause he uh, happens outside of base. The question is when Three. does something stop Three. being the attacker in the dispensary in the timing chart? Yep. It, and it and can't be the end. Away. Everyone says that that's what it is, but it can't be because... In step eight, you like loop back Three. around. And After new targets, damage right? has been dealt, I would say it happens in that step eight. Yeah. Like you do all the at- after-attack yeah. abilities, but um, in in the step eight where you go back around. So the question is like, disabled. if the second weapon is disabled for reload, run, run, run! He's pulling up that uh, harpoon. Okay, so two straight forward. Not sure it's going to matter at this point. Minute and a half left. She's a word word because it's yeah. canceled, right? So, because he's in dealing damage to them, right? Yeah. So, it would be after you split. So, there he goes. Looks like Ed is trying to get that last shot. Focus. 
Yeah. Yeah. And Ed's got a hit and a crit. For three it is there. Two hits and a crit. And one evade. And that's two. 30 seconds, gentlemen. If you pick up dials and start. Okay, so this will be last turn. All right. Wook is trying to get himself swung around here. At this point, all Ed needs to do is... Uh, well, I don't know if he's choos choosing to run or he's choosing to fight. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. So he's going to reveal. One. Yep. Get rid of that. Yep. BB nope. BB-8 happens on reveal. You don't clear your stress until after you execute. Right. So you do your bank one there. Bank one. That clears the stress. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Edo. I'm going to. He's going to attempt a boost. Oh, that's pretty tight to the rock. I don't know if that's going to make it. Oh, yeah. Easy. Oh, look at that. Beautiful flying by Ed there. Pulling himself range one. And there's his push to target lock. All it takes to win the game for you. Oh, man. Good, good job, Ed. Good job. So we got a four dice attack. Of course, he gets the stress and then clears it because he's needing numb. Oh, yeah. Sure there and then clear it and then need numb four dice looks like uh three hits sorry two hits and a crit and he's gonna bust out that target lock into a blink so two hits and a crit yep and wook gets a focus and a evade and takes two takes two one and two and that was it eh that's right I, had, I, was, I didn't catch up previously. He had already taken kill. a damage and a weapons failure. Yep. And so this is a hit and a damage sensor array. And there you have it, folks. Heavy D brings it home with his triple T-70s. Well done. All right, we will see you guys in the after battle in just a moment. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're here at the after battle. And wow, what a nail biter. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that last round. Um, I... I honestly thought Wook had it sewn up, and so <laughs> and then Ed just turns it around at the end and walks it home. Uh, that was great. Um, uh, well, Wook, Wook, what what happened there? Um, yeah, not enough ability to keep those target locks, mm. and uh, once I lost the shuttle, it just sort of went, went sideways. Slide. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those gunboats are great. You did some really good work with them. I'll I will say that. Yeah, it, it was good. Um, those those T70s are just so hard to keep act, active uh, active locks on and in arc. So that BB-8 I can throw black stuff. one title pr um, um, pattern analyzer. Oh, yeah. it's hard to predict. Yeah, it's a little bit rough. Yeah. Oh well. Hey, you did good. You did really good. It was a good and match. Ed, well played, my friend. I'm happy to see three T70s win in this Me one. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I got lucky. I yeah. really did. I got lucky after that first screw up at the. With the Talon roll on, on Jess. Oh, man, I felt so bad for you about yeah. that. I was like, wow, he just threw, like, 29 points, like, yeah. right off the board, basically. I was so. looking at a different move, and uh, that's the wrong you one. It, that's the thing. You that's know? the thing. Usually it's me that does that, so I'm happy to <laughs> see somebody else yeah, do but it. but I'm old, so yeah. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> he, called, he called the Battle of the Ages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there you have it. A wonderful battle. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Leave some comments. Let us know what you saw in the comments down below. <coughs> and we will see you guys next time here on the mat.